In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How are you? Traditionally, you don't answer that, except with a how are you. Father Brendan Kilcoyne, coming to you from Athenry, County Galway, with the Brendan Option, courtesy, as always, of Immaculata Productions, who offer you both the Brendan Option and the Conversation, which you may care, if you haven't discovered it, to consult. Uh, our first interview with noted Irish entrepreneur, businessman, Mr. Declan Ganley. So that's there. It's our newest venture, and you might like to take a notice of it. And while you're noticing it, if your hand should stray to the subscribe button, do not restrain it. Should you be tempted to fling money at us through PayPal and Patreon, be kind to yourself and allow yourself to indulge that very understandable impulse. Today, it's as well I'm joking at the beginning because it's not going to get any funnier, I'm afraid. Uh, this, is, this is a fairly heavy topic. You need a joke at the beginning. Damn it, you'd need a drink. Like, I know we're, we're killers. I know that. I don't know if we think about it much, but I know that. We kill millions of animals every day. I know that. We are red in tooth and claw. I can't remember who said that, so don't ask me. Was it Marx? I think Marx. Red in tooth and claw. Millions of animals and we kill each other cheerfully. War appears for all the nonsensically optimistic nonsense that you still hear from some people about human nature. War appears to be a permanent feature of the human condition. It appears to be a permanent feature. Because if you tell me, oh, wars are fought for territory, wars are fought for survival, wars are fought for food, my goodness. Very hard to explain some of them entirely. Oh, wars are started by religion. You show me one war started by religion, which was entirely about religion, or even mainly about it as the war progressed. Let me assure you a lot of other things will quickly come into play, not least that we are killers. You need to get that into your head. I'm sorry, you think I'm patronising, you think I'm insulting. I, I just don't think... That, uh, that, that we have acquired the self-knowledge we should have, especially after the 20th century, especially after what Orwell called, I think I'm quoting accurately, that welter of lies and cruelty that made up the first half of the 20th century. The lies being the development of propaganda in, wasn't it, the First World War and its use in the Spanish Civil War, the Second World War and the Cold War afterwards. We're killers. And if we don't recognise that in ourselves, it will run rampage. You know the old story about the devil, you know, that he's never been as powerful as when people stop believing in him. It's in there, it's in us. And we're killing our young. And that's what we're doing, we're culling our young. And, and you, you, you can call us what you like, I'm let me t say two things. One, I think it's John McGurk I'm quoting, who pointed out regarding the Irish referendum on abortion, there is no point going on about what if we did this, what if we did that, what if we did the other. The Irish people wanted to bring it in. And if you don't get your heads around that, there's no going forward. Abortion was brought in because the Irish people wanted it in. We're killers. The tomb babies. Listen to me. I'll believe your tears for the tomb babies. And I accept that that's a grim and a heartless period of our history. I'll believe that when I see the same tears being shed. For the, what was it, seven? Was it about 7,000 last year? Irish babies killed. They weren't all killed in tune, that's for sure. 
this this is a crime it is a crime calling to heaven for vengeance this is a terrible crime and you know what the worst of it is is that like so many things in Ireland it was brought in with the tacit knowledge of a majority of people who had agreed to say it was anything but what it was it was brought in with a nod and a wink I was listening on the radio the other day, on the car radio, and somebody was telling the story to the reporter of something that had happened when his wife was pregnant, and the, and the reporter go, went, oh my goodness. Uh, quite reasonably, by the way. What a terrible thing. I mean, bad enough, you know, really three people would have been killed. You know, the, you, your wife, and the child, a little child, a human being. And I was thinking to myself, well, we could have done with hearing that tune before the referendum from the mainstream Irish media. This is, um, this is a real darkness in it. I'm reminded terribly of that comment of, um, psychologist and writer William James in his famous book The Varieties of Religious Experience where where he reminds us that human civilization is built on the shambles the shambles being the traditional uh, butchering area in any town the slaughterhouse it is built on the shambles there there is a, a certain element of killing and cruelty at the basis of every civilization. Now I'm just saying that the way people talk, our problems seem to be endlessly well-being, endlessly sort of that we feel good about ourselves, that we esteem ourselves, even though the idea of self-esteem is even philosophically very tricky. I mean, Jordan Peterson has rightly raised the question as to whether that understanding of self-esteem is, is even intellectually uh, defensible or, or whether, it, whether it in practice can exist. Because our self-esteem depends so much on how we are esteemed by others because we are naturally social beings. There's a dark streak in us. And, 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 and I think there's a conspiracy among us. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I think there's an unwritten, unspoken conspiracy among us to do these things and not talk about them. So it's not talked about. But this is the very stuff that we despise in the Ireland of the past, which hid away its unwanted children and institutions. Now we're murdering them. That's progress. And you notice, not talking about them. God forbid you start an argument about abortion on the radio now, unless you're saying how great it is it was brought in. And even the word abortion isn't used much. We are built on the shambles. I heard somebody again on the radio the other day uh, in the middle of an argument, because there was a question raised, I think it was on Joe, D- Joe Duffy's programme maybe, about funding for the church and that the church should get some recompense for the money it had lost uh, uh, during the lockdown. Now, personally, I don't think we should be asking the state for any recompense for a start because we'll end up having to pay it anyway in the long term. Um, the state's money doesn't come from nowhere. That's my per- my personal view. But it started a fairly... Fairly really bitter argument, actually. Um, maybe predictably. But I found my least sympathy was with one poor man who was being decent and who was saying, you know, the church, ah, it's, it's good for the well-being of old people and sure, if it needs a little bit of a dig out, we should give it. Well, I felt like saying to that decent man, you can take your patronising attitude with your money and you can bugger off and we'll die starving and in a ditch there'd be more dignity in it. The church has a hard road ahead of it because it must prophesy to this really increasingly godless nation 
and that prophecy will be received with the same harshness with which prophecy was received by Jerusalem when prophecy was made to it. The prophets end badly. There is nothing to be done here. This civilization built on the shambles has added to its slaughter list all the lives of those children who are being killed and will be killed. The unspoken but system, uh, fairly systematic elimination in other countries of children with Down syndrome and other abnormalities will certainly now be a feature of life here. Why wouldn't it? And it's to this society that we should be playing court jester. It's to this ruthless, lethal society that we should be are a decent old skins who are nice. Ni- they're nice. It's nice to have them there for old people and we should give them a bit of a dig out. Listen to me, modern Ireland. Maybe we need the dig out financially. But you need it spiritually. And how. So never mind patronising us. You need to look to yourself. Because what's happening there that will not be that will not be hidden forever just because you don't talk about it you remember that horror film i know what you did last summer do you remember that remember that cheap horror film i didn't even go to see it but a great title though now, some, some people would say you know every human being has stuff in their past they don't want to talk about sure There are times we've been small and low and mean and we don't want to be seen like that, okay? But this goes beyond small. This is big meanness. Yeah? Thousands of children killed as a lifestyle choice. So don't you, don't you flash your, your modern materialist credentials in my face. Because I know what you did last summer. Have a think about it. And we still love you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.